These monks are engaging in the art of sutra debate, a tradition dating back to the 12th century. To the outsider, it looks like a kung fu coffee shop, but it typifies Tibet's commitment to its ancient traditions and its newfound willingness to share them with the world. Tibet's growing cities are much more modern. But the stupas and other ancient symbols of its spiritual tradition are still prominent and even going contemporary themselves. In the midst of the urban congestion of Lhasa, in an alley behind some old buildings, Dawa Taman Rinpoche, a high-ranking monk, spends all his money and time building this. The largest Buddhist stupa of its kind anywhere. A pyramid of steel, wood, and slate. Two artists work every day chiseling the Buddha's words on the slabs. The tablets remind me of those carried by Moses, but these commandments were written not by a god, but a man, speaking of peace, harmony with nature, and the way to end mankind's millennia of miseries. She's gonna cover it, right? <laughs>